Alright, so this is my Tato cocktail cabinet that I'm currently working on. Um, pretty much, when I've got it, it's had pretty much everything ripped out of it. It's got its original screen, but no chassis to run it, um, or game board, or even power supply. Even the uh, control panels are missing, and it doesn't have a front glass. At some stage in its life, it's been modified, so it's gone, had a horizontal screen put in it. Um, but I will put it, bring it back to the vertical screen. Um, I've already got myself a replacement glass, which I've masked off the screen area and the the um, how to play cards that uh, go in underneath so I will paint this screen uh, black and then where the stickers I've put on it when I peel them off they'll still be clear to see through for the screen and the two um, cards that can be slid under the glass uh, so at this stage of the progress I have got the screen ready uh, there's a lot of work to be done, uh, but I will continue on to get it working. It won't be original, but it's much better than just going to waste. I'll also look at getting this repainted underneath, and even for the chrome legs, it's a bit hard to get chrome done these days, uh, especially in my area, so I'll possibly look at getting these repainted. Uh, I don't know if I'll get them just painted black or maybe a nice gunmetal colour but uh, yeah um, most likely I'll have to end up putting a 60 in 1 game board in in this, um, this cabinet uh, but what I have picked up uh, temporarily or might actually do the might be used constantly as the exact same screen in this computer uh, is exactly the same size and the 60 and one cards uh, 60 60 and one boards can uh, plug straight into the uh, VGA plug so I'll remove this screen out of its casing and transplant it into here um, yeah, I do have a, a arcade power supply ready to be put in, um, and although it's it doesn't have its control panels in at the moment, I did get one uh, surround, but it had no controls in it. It was just blocked off. At some stage, also, it's had these big holes drilled in for a larger panel to go in. Um, by the looks of it, it may have had some kind of uh, poker game in here, which uh, I do have the original control panel, but it had a heap of buttons on it for selecting cards and that. Uh, but I will be bringing it back to as close as original as I can to its um, Tato it's from the factory with the, um, with the vertical games. Uh, this screen does have a bit of uh, burn in it. You can kind of see some squares here in the in the center of the screen and some text would have been written here um, but pretty much there's not going to be a worry because I'm going to swap out the screen use the um, monitor the PC monitor um, I have checked it I have had the monitor open and it is exactly the same size the only difference is this has got a glossy uh, finish the glass where the monitor has a frosted or slight matte finish to it um, Again Being in my area, it's going to be really hard to find original parts uh, Anything original has already been quite difficult to find so it's pretty much find anything that is either really similar um, Like the monitor screen um, Or maybe making something to replace that but I do have, as I say, I do have an arcade unit, a uh, power unit to go in here, and a 60 in 1 board that I'll put in over here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's absolutely nothing 
to run the screen. Um, it's all been chucked by the previous owner. He said he was going to pretty much was binning everything out of it and was going to upgrade it, or as they say, upgrade to a flat screen. Well, I don't really know if that's really a true upgrade. I'd much rather keep um, a CRT screen in all my arcade machines. But um, yeah, so at this stage, this is where I am at. Um, and just have got my glass ready for the top. I'll um, paint that in a few days. And then once per through the Christmas holidays, I will unta uh, undo the um, base and take it in to get uh, repainted and then pretty much get the internals working and then I'll finish up getting this, the control panels sorted out um, and I'll just have to see how I go yeah it's just really difficult to find parts in my side of the world here in New Zealand for this they're, they're, they're around but they're just really really hard to find anyway that's all I can show for now so I'm reusing some vinyl stickers that we made at my work. These ones have a misprint on them so they were no good for the customer but reusing them here for this job is absolutely fine.
So that's the end of part one of the Cocktail Cabinet Restore. Next part I'll be looking at doing the, the metal base and the stand and getting those repainted. So thanks for watching and be sure to watch out for the next video.